Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, Shannon here discussing some hormones and some uh, the different ways of administering them. And again, disclaimer, I'm not promoting it to any of you. Uh, you guys all know. So anyway, we discussed my, in my last video, I discussed my old regimen, which was an oral regimen, and I have since changed to uh, injections. And I did a couple of uh, um, videos back when I stopped recording some six or eight weeks ago uh, that were demonstrations for injections. And I might repost those or just make new ones. Um, but I might edit them and just uh, repost the old ones. But this one, I'm going to talk about the estrogen itself. Okay, I was on the oral tablets before, the two milligram oral tablets, but I was taking six milligrams a day. That was my oral dosage. Now I prescribe uh, estradiol valerate is my current prescription. And in the beginning when I was prescribed my injection, it was um, what most doctors will prescribe you if you go get on injections or if you're on, and it's called del estrogen. And my prescription, typical prescription for starting out is usually uh, 20 milligrams uh, per cc. It's 20 milligrams um, my, pres my prescribed amount was 20 milligrams every two weeks, one cc every two weeks. Um, comes in a 5 milliliter vial, and this 5 milliliter vial is 5 cc, same thing, is um, 5 injections. That lasts, that, that covers 12 weeks. 5 injections, <coughs> 12 weeks, pardon me. $120. Okay, and anywhere I look on the internet, it's 120 and more dollars for 20 milligrams, 5 milligrams, 5 milligrams. So I did some extensive research and I found estradiol valerate, which is a 10 milliliter vial, twice the size, that's twice the volume, 40 milligrams, twice the strength, 40 milligrams, not 20 milligrams. So it's twice the milligrams twice the volume, $29, and it's estradiol valerate, which del estrogen is the generic for estradiol valerate. Do the math, you know, I mean, I'm not good at math, but I know $100 a vial is a huge savings for me, and I only have to fill this every six months, where this I have to fill I would have to fill every what? 10 weeks? Yeah, every 10 weeks. <laughs> Huge savings. If you want that savings, hit me up. I'll give you the information and uh, enlighten you to how you get it. It comes to my front door in three day delivery, $8 for delivery, so it's $37 total for my prescription and the delivery included. That's smoke and deal. Okay, so my doctor prescribed me the 40 milligrams on this, incidentally, because it's cheaper. They, they'll sell me the 20, but it's a couple of bucks more. 20, 20 milligrams of 10 milliliters was actually like 5 or $6 more than the 40 milligram 10 milliliter. So I just take a lesser dose. I, I take the same dose. It's still 20 milligrams every two weeks right now. But instead of taking one cc, I take a half a cc because it's 40 milligrams. And my doctor, we probably foresee increasing it anyway. So he just said, get 40 milligrams and don't worry about it. You got more than enough. And just do the math when you do your injections, 20 milligrams every three weeks. So that's what I do. Now uh, that's the savings. That's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, <coughs> pardon me, I told you I've got allergic rhinitis or sinus, I got a itchy throat, and my voice is very manly. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyhow, um, if this helps you out, girls, please let me know, and I'll give you the info. Um, but self-medicators, it's not going to help you out. You have to have a prescription. So I know anybody that will be getting information from me would be uh, prescribed and uh, even or don't even bother because the pharmacy is just not going to fill it for you. It's that simple. 
So another reason you girls that are self-medicating to follow the proper channels because look how cheap you get it. You know, when I found out I had to pay that much for this, I was blown away. I said, wow, I thought it was cheaper to do injections. And when I found the other one, it is. It's much cheaper than even my orals. My orals were covered under insurance because they can do that. They'll cover it because it's a 30-day prescription, a 30-day notice. Anything over that, if it's a female hormone like this, if you're not, if you haven't had a sex change or gender reassignment surgery or SRS, whatever you want to categorize that, if you haven't had it, you cannot get uh, anything more than a 30-day dosage of your um, hormones from your prescription from your insurance company. They won't cover it. That's how that works. So once I get my sex change, my insurance company will cover it, even my estradiol. But at $29 for six months supply, that's what it comes to. I paid 29 bucks for six months of estradiol. That's cheap. That's way cheap. It's cheaper than my oral. So I'm going to move into the next video and talk about all the stuff that entails to preparing to do your injections. Okay? Hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.